Good morning. Um, I look crazy. I'll explain later. I know I look crazy right now. This is for an upcoming video that I'm finally getting my eyelashes done later tonight. The plan for today is mainly to just work on my shop. I have a couple of orders to send out today and then I have a lot of stuff to get done before my drop on the 13th. My shop is always linked in the description, by the way. I want to show you guys what crystals I'm taking with me today. Well, not with me, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm gonna keep these on me. I'm staying at home for the majority of my day, and then later tonight I have a lash appointment because my eyelashes are looking crazy. I really need a fill. So I'm not gonna put these crystals in my purse or anything. I'm probably just gonna keep them on my desk while I work. I'm gonna keep this amethyst worry stone on me, and then I'm taking little piece of carnelian. Some people were on TikTok saying that these two crystals shouldn't be used together, that they clash. Um, I've never had that experience. I think it's because I set my intentions pretty well, so I tell the crystal exactly what I want it to do for me. The amethyst for me is for anti-anxiety properties, not necessarily relaxation properties, and for me those two are different. Because my anxiety keeps me in my head, it keeps me overthinking to the point where I think more about doing the task than actually doing the task. So I'm literally like paralyzed thinking about doing this thing when I could have just done it within like 20 minutes. And then carnelian is for motivation so I can like get up and get things going. So yeah, those are the two that I'm keeping on me today. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the AC by the way, it's like really hot today. Right now the plan is to get some cosmic earrings done, to get some flora earrings done, Package those, take them to the USPS. Oh, I need to package a Depop order too. Package the Depop order, take all three of those to the USPS. Come home. I'm trying to get 10 necklaces wrapped today. And then I'm gonna make dinner. I have to pick up my sister from school. I have a lash appointment later tonight. Gotta get my protein smoothie. I don't know, that's what I kinda need to get done today, but I will take you guys along with me. Show them what's in the candle. No, no, the hat. What? Oh. It's hot. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna make a pair of cosmic earrings. This is what they look like. These are the frames. I gotta fill them with resin and some of the little decals. And then this is the nail UV light that I use. I like to make each pair different just to make it like a little bit unique. So they'll look similar to the picture that I showed you guys, but not exact. They'll still have the moon, sun, and stars, and sparkles and stuff, but it's just a little variation. I'm also making a pair of flora earrings. I already filled this one with uh, resin, but this is what it looks like. I will put a picture of like what it looks like on my website, but I will show you guys both the earrings when they're all done. These ones, each pair is different too because you're able to request what colors you want. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys when they're all done. I just finished the earrings. It took almost an hour and a half to do. I was getting frustrated with this glitter that I have because it's not as fine as I want it to be. I bought the same glitter that I did last time, but I guess they're just inconsistent. I literally broke out this mortar and pestle to grind up the glitter. You can literally see the glitter in there. And it didn't make a difference, so <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed at first because I thought the glitter was too chunky. My sister said it still looks good. I think it's one of those things that only I can notice because I made it. These are the flora earrings. Let me show you in the sun. I don't know if that's better or worse. And then these are the cosmic earrings. Obviously, I still have to assemble them. They're just like chilling on the UV tape in the sun. You can't really see because they're on the UV tape, but they need to cure for a little bit longer in the sun. While those cure for a little bit longer, I'm going to prep the packaging. I need to like print out labels, stick them on the packages, 
put little freebies in the packages and then those should be done in about like 15-20 minutes and I should be ready by then to start assembling them and packaging them up. I have to package a pair of shoes for Depop and then I'm going to take all of those to the USPS. I invested in one of these label printers a while ago and it's the best purchase that I've made for my business. It's so fun to use. I came outside so I could show you guys what the earrings look like. Hopefully the wind isn't too loud. I'm not really sure. Okay, ignore my list. I have my Invisalign in. These are the flora earrings that I showed you guys earlier. Let me try to get them in the sun. Is that better? I think that's better. And these are the cosmic earrings. They're so pretty. I think that these are my favorite earrings to make. I think in the sunlight you can't really see the details, but there they are. And I also made the 5k giveaway prize. Towards the end of the video, I'll go over how you could win this, but this is a carnelian necklace. It's gonna come with the chain and everything. My list. Okay, now I'm gonna package everything. And then I'm sending out these shoes from Depop. I actually bought these for myself, but unfortunately they don't fit. They're a little bit too small. So I'm gonna send them off to a better home. And I'm reusing the box because it's sustainable. I usually like to send out my stuff in like nicer packaging, but this is the box that the shoes came in and I literally took them out, tried them on, realized they didn't fit and then put them back in this box. So I might as well just reuse the packaging because I feel like it's wasteful if I go out and I buy a brand new box just for this. Because the chances of my buyer just throwing away the box after they take out the shoes is pretty high. Time to go to the post office. I'm here at my mom's house um, just to eat. <laughs> this is what we're eating. My grandma made this. We're eating rice and gaka, and this is the vegetables that were in it. I think it's a squash and then a tiny piece of mamkyun. Oh my god. The watermelon just fell out of my mouth. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I work all day and then I forget to eat. And now I'm starving. I'm back home now. I am extremely full. I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm supposed to be wrapping all of these. There's like 20 pictures in here that I'm supposed to wrap. Obviously, I only have two done right now. These two tiger eyes. But I'm pretty tired right now. I think I'm just gonna lay down. Um, not nap, because I like physically can't nap. I don't know why. But I can't nap, so I'm not gonna nap, but I think I'm just gonna lay down and chill for a little bit and then I'll try to make as many necklaces as I can before my lash appointment. It's around 6 something right now and my lash appointment isn't until 9 so I have a couple hours to get some stuff done. This is Titan you guys. This is my kitty. He's named after Attack on Titan because we thought he was gonna be like huge. He turned out to be pretty small but he's just kicking in with me. Look at his little bow. Show him your thumb. Okay, we're not. He's kind of weird. He'll like rub up against me because he wants me to pet him. And then he'll nibble me, but then I pet him. And he just like doesn't, he doesn't accept the pets. He's like not satisfied with what I'm doing, but I don't know how to do it right. Just lay down. I'm full. Ow. I know I said I was supposed to chill, but I actually spent the last hour editing the vlog that you guys are watching now. For some reason, I like literally can't just sit there and not do anything. And this isn't even like a girl boss moment. No, this is like a mentally ill like i guilt myself moment but i'm working on it so it's okay also i'm so so sorry for how congested i sound in this video my allergies today are so bad like my eyes are itching like titan is not making it any better 
my nose is running, I'm super congested. It's 8 o'clock right now. I'm gonna leave for my lash appointment around 8.45 because my lash tech only lives like 15 minutes away from me. Going to try to bust out like three crystal necklaces and then tomorrow I'm just gonna get all 40 done tomorrow. I don't know, I feel like me wrapping crystals for hours isn't super fun to watch anyway so i guess it's kind of good that it didn't make a huge appearance in this video i don't know i think i'm just trying to make myself feel better for not wrapping the 10 crystals that i said i would today a couple of things that i have to do before the day ends one wrap like two or three crystals at least two go to my lash appointment three make a protein smoothie i guess I try to drink at least one a day, so that's why I'm like trying to get this protein smoothie in. I'm planning on making an updated and like actually good what I eat in a week to gain weight video. The last one was okay, I wasn't like really back into my weight gain grind I guess, but now I'm like getting back into it. So I want to show you guys what I've been eating, workouts I've been doing, etc, etc, because I gained 4 pounds in the past week. That's a lot. So, doing something right. But this congestion and my allergies are killing me right now. Titan's fine though. Update on the lashes. They're not happening today. They're actually going to happen tomorrow. My lash tech is also my cousin. So we're really flexible with each other's schedules. And as you guys can tell, I'm pretty much home all day so i really don't mind that she changed it to tomorrow instead of today she doesn't do this with everyone though just me because i'm her cousin i'm not biased when it comes to her work i actually really like her work i pay her and tip her like everyone else because i respect her time and i love her work i'll leave her instagram in the description as well she was the one that did my lashes for my summer transformation video so i think right now i'm actually gonna eat dinner and then drink my protein smoothie and make necklaces As you guys saw, I have McDonald's for dinner. Not the healthiest, but my sister was picking it up on her way home, and it's been a minute since I had McDonald's. So I decided to have that for dinner because I was lazy. I was supposed to eat leftover spaghetti that I made a couple days ago, but I just wasn't feeling it. I did make a couple of crystal necklaces. Not 10, but I made a couple. Let me show you guys. You guys already saw the two tigers eye from earlier, and then this one is a chevron amethyst, and then this one is a really quartz, and then I'll probably finish up this howlite and maybe that other howlite, and then I also made this pyrite, but I'm gifting it to my boyfriend because he doesn't have anything from me actually. Right now I'm just getting ready for bed. I'm about to put my hair in these little socks for some heatless waves. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be all about heatless curling and waving methods. I'll probably end the night by editing and then watching anime like I always do. I'm watching Naruto Shippuden right now and then I think after that it's Boruto. I'm not sure though. I also kind of started Jujutsu Kaisen but I never finished it. I'm only on like episode 16 and I stopped because it was getting kind of slow and boring but everyone says it's good so I think I might try watching it again. That was my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along with me through everything today. Also thank you for 5,000 subscribers. I'm probably gonna say that a million times in the next part where I talked about my giveaway, but I wanted to say it one more time. And yeah, that's everything that I did today. Okay, giveaway time. I look a little beat right now. I don't wear makeup on the daily, and I didn't really feel like putting it on just for this video, so don't say anything. As I showed you guys earlier, this is the giveaway prize. It's a carnelian necklace, so it will come with a chain and everything. This is just the pendant that I'm showing you guys. Thank you so, 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 so much for 5,000 subscribers. I just wanted to do this little giveaway to give back to you guys, show a little bit of appreciation and love. Entering this giveaway is super, super easy. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, follow me on my Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description, I'll also leave it up here for you guys, and leave a comment on this video, it could be any comment you want, it doesn't have to be related to crystals or spirituality or anything like that, you can leave any comment. Just make sure to leave either your Instagram or your email because I need to contact you somehow if you win. The giveaway is open internationally so anyone can enter 
and it's going to end in two weeks. I'll leave the exact date in the description. I'll also leave all the rules and everything down there too if you want to reread. And yeah, that's how you enter the giveaway. I'm so, so grateful for all of you. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you for watching my video, subscribing, always showing love. I really do appreciate you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!